this is the Brave web browser. It's a relatively new browser, and uh, the idea behind it is it automatically blocks ads and trackers, making it faster and safer than your current browser. And they're going to add an interesting idea about mi called micropayments, and it will use bitcoins. Very interesting, and uh, we'll take a look at that in a minute. If I look, it's a very minimalistic web browser, and there's not a lot here. But if I simply go into my settings, I can change my general appearance a little bit. I can show the bookmarks bar. I can use favicons. So I have distro watch. There's the favicon, the DW. Turn it off. And I could use only the favicon, which means that then I would have a lot more space across the bookmarks. I can uh, show the home button and I can always show the URR bar. And let's turn off hide the menu bar by default. So let's take a look at what it looks like now. And it's looking a little more normal. I have my normal menu bar across the top. Pretty easy. Okay, everything's going through HTTPS. A refresh, home. The, I guess that's the amount of time it took to load. And whether I can bookmark that bar page. Over here is the interesting little lion symbol. Clicking on that shows me the shield settings for Brave.com. So this is my ad blocker. I can block fingerprints, scripts. I'm always using HTTPS block phishing, malware, I can edit it, I have ad control. So fairly interesting, and let's get out of that, and we come down here, and just scroll to nice website, and it's basically saying you get rid of a lot of the tracking, and your uh, the speed at which you'll be able to load pages will rapidly increase. Okay, and make it safer for you to use the internet. Okay, it's out for multiple operating systems. And it's going to have Brave Payments. Let's take a look at that. If I uh, go back into my settings, I can come down here to Payments. And when I turn it on, the idea is I'm going to create a wallet. I'm actually going to create a an account with... Uh, and purchase bitcoins and my if I can budget it monthly I can add money so use my debit card use my existing Bitcoin wallet use my smartphone app okay pretty powerful now this is pretty much in beta. this might not be in beta it, uh, it is in beta so it might not always work 100% of the time but the neat idea is that I can buy bitcoins very easily and seamlessly I don't have to set up a wallet I can just do it straight through a credit card and then I can transfer some of those bitcoins to the websites I frequent uh, very seamlessly. Very neat, neat idea. So let's turn that off and go back. And you can see they use uh, BitGo and Coinbase. That is pretty darn powerful. Now, the, the neat thing in the future, once it gets up and going, is I will be earning micropayments to myself, or micro credits, and then I'll be able to spend those micro payments, which is I think going to be 15% of the ads that uh, Brave sells, and I'll be able to give those, that money straight to the websites I frequent and want to support. And uh, that's not yet uh, a done deal, but uh, it's in the works, and that's going to make it a really neat, neat browser. If I go, let's take a look a little bit more about that idea. If I go to the Brave Browser Wiki, let's search for that, DuckDuckGo, here we go. Click on it, boom, I'm there. And right here it tells me what it's, it's going to try and improve my online privacy by sharing less data and advertising with with advertising customers and instead target web ads through my anonymous use. Brave intends to keep 15% of the ad revenue itself 
pay content publishers 55%, ad partners 15%, and give to the browser user 15%, which I can in turn donate to bloggers and other web providers of content through micropayments. How cool is that? I mean, that's pretty upfront. I mean, there is no such thing as a free web browser, and uh, this is actually rewarding me for using the program, or will eventually when everything's up and running, working. Very neat and very nifty. Let's see. Is there anything else you really need to know? Everything else seems pretty seamless. Uh, I did not find a way to add plugins. So that's pretty interesting, or extensions. So when I go in the preferences, there's nothing about extensions or plugins. Okay, but other than that, it is a very interesting browser, and I think you should have a neat time using it in the future. I think it's going to be a really strong up-and-comer. The installation is pretty seamless. You just need to uh, install it through um, I have PayMac here. I can turn on my uh, Arch Users repository. I type Brave. I installed Brave the binary version. When I went to install regular Brave, the terminal popped up and told me that there was a bit of a problem and it hanged up and that they recommended you use the binary installer version. And that's what I did. And it's actually three days ahead than the uh, regular Brave browser repository. So there was some kind of bug. Hopefully when you get to it, it will be gone. But if you do have a problem installing Brave, look to install the binary version. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.